Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It's time to leave Varkas and head on over to the Empire of Hands to deliver the hydrogen. But before doing that, I want to head over to the Chelinate to see if that quest that I heard about in the recent patch is there. Because apparently a recent patch added some sort of a quest that reveals more about the backstory of the Chelinate. And I don't, know if it, I don't know if you actually get the quest from the Chelinate, or if it's simply a quest that is about the Chelinate. So we'll have to see. But at the least, I can just get a port report there. And I think I'll head through the darkness to get there, just kind of make a straight line for it, so I might find something new in this darkness here. Of course, in reality, I'm probably going to find some horrendous creature that's going to force me to go some other way and go around the darkness, but we'll see. Anyway, I've had enough of Varkas for now. Uh, nothing I want to buy. In fact, there's nothing I can buy. Pretty good on supplies, pretty good on fuel. Time to go. Oh, you know what? Let's actually... What, what does Mirrors do again exactly? Does it give me anything in combat? Uh, the quicker you can find a firing solution in combat. Okay, so it is actually advantageous to have mirrors on. But it's probably better to put the pages there instead? Mm. I don't really know how that works. Because you see when I put the pages on, like if I switch this back. Look at this line here. The gray stuff is how much of my pages are basically filled in by the pages bonus. You can see when I put this on it goes up slightly. But it doesn't actually make the total bar go up. So... How does that work? Exactly. Like, if I'm almost... If I've almost filled this up to get another secret, and I put that on, it's not going to push me over the edge? Do I just want that? I, I think I just want it always equipped. I think. I, I don't really know exactly. I'm just going to leave it on. Also, somebody was telling me that I should probably try to speak to the monkey foundling, and I was thinking, oh yeah, I really should, to see if she has anything interesting to say. But unfortunately, it looks like you can't. I think I maybe even tried this before and just totally forgot about it, but yeah, you actually can't talk to her, nor can you talk to the wretched Mog. The only mascot that I actually can talk to at the moment is just the comatose ferret. <laughs> well, it's comatose, so it doesn't exactly have much to say. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't actually talk to her. Which is kind of surprising, because I would think there'd be all sorts of quests and stuff you could do with her. I guess there's already so much writing about her and so many so many things that you, you did with her that they figured that was enough. Which, you know, fair enough. We did have some fun adventures with her. Anyway, let's go. I really shouldn't honk my horn out here. Oh boy. I don't know what that was, but I just saw like a little bit of a bluish cloud. I'm gonna leave my lights off. Oh, there it is. What is that? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Kind of looks like those clouds of uh, birds that I saw over, saw over at Port Carnelian, but it looks a little bit different. Let's go right through the ribcage of this fallen beast. That seems wise. Nothing to steal the nerves like going through the ribcage of a beast so big that it could swallow your entire ship whole. You know, I really feel like I'm going to die going in here. This is a good idea. It's still got some flesh on it. Ah, screw it. It's fine. It's fine. I wonder how that doctor dude that I left off here is doing.
Let's see, shore leave, no. Doomed monster hunter, no. Port report, yes. And what is this? Tales for the Bone. Glor oh, Glory's Bone. Yeah, that's the uh, the name of the new quest that they just added in the recent patch. All right, so I do actually get it from the Chelinate itself. Let's see what happens. Tales for the Bone. Someone is crying unusual wares. Follow the sound. The Scrimshaw Chronicler. A scrawny man squats beneath an awning of gant-colored whale skin. Bring me your tales, he cries. Tales for the bone. Bring him a tale. Oh, apparently I've got all the stuff for it. Pay the chronicler to inscribe a Z story onto a hunting trophy and you'll receive an outlandish artifact. Oh, okay. So one supply, plus a Z story and a hunting trophy, and you get an outlandish artifact. Seems like a decent trade. I think an outlandish artifact is worth maybe a hundred echo. Of course, I don't think I would actually sell it. Probably more useful as just an item to use for quests and stuff like that than, than for actually directly selling. Um, I think it does more than that, too. I feel like it's probably going to unlock something if I, if I do it. Let's do it once and see what happens. Oh yeah, something happened. Has asked me to seek the tales of the glories of death. Okay, cool. Let's let's see what happened. The bones of the matter. Whistling, the chronicler does his work. With a flourish, he returns you a beautifully engraved piece of bone. A good tale, he concedes. Good enough. He leans closer. You're Z Captain, aren't you? Bring me a tale worthy of the bone, and I'll shape something worthy of you. I've long sought the tale of the glory's end. Glory is what we call this beast. He gestures around you, at the turtle's shell. None still live from those days when we slew her. But the saying is, the tale still lives on history's beach. Bring me that tale, Z Captain. Please. Okay, uh, I would love to, but can you please direct me to history's beach? <laughs> Where exactly is that? What the hell is History's Beach? Is that like the Elder Continent or something? Alright, so I can just keep doing this. Although, well that's weird, it doesn't seem to actually take a Z story. Or is this actually to continue the quest? It says, inscribe a Z-story onto a hunting trophy, but I don't have a Z-story and it's not going to eat one up. I... Huh. Hold on. Where's the... Whoops. Where's the actual quest? What does it actually say? Oh my god, I'm never going to find it. <laughs> Is it under objectives? Would it actually be under the name of this place? Chelinate? Oh Jesus. Oh my. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to find it. I'll be- wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I think it was learning about, wasn't it? Wasn't it learning about? No, it's- oh, oh alright, I'll be right back. Hey, I found it! It's under memoirs. Because why not? Totally makes sense. Why- why would it not be under memoirs? Of course it's under memoirs. Anyway. Blah 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 has asked you to seek the tale of the glory's death on history's beach. How did the glory meet its end? The Scrimshaw Chronicler told you that the tale can be found on history's beach. Okay, that does not help. That does not help at all. What the hell is history's beach? I'm just gonna bring you another tale and see if this happens to count. No. Okay, that's weird. I lost a Z-Story, even though it didn't say it was actually going to cost a Z-Story. Right. Hmm. No sign of the tale of glory's end, Captain? Remember, it still lives on the beach where history comes to rest. Or so they say. 
I've been to so many places that it's almost certainly a place that I've already been to. The beach where history comes to rest, or so they say. I can only think of one beach in the entirety of the Untersee, and that's just Aesteville. But is that the beach where history comes to rest? I don't know. Aesteville is literally the only beach I can think of. Nowhere else has anything that I would describe as a beach. It's the only place that's had any sand, right? Aesteville? I'm pretty sure it is literally the only place that I've ever been at that actually has sand. Hmm. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe it's Aesteville. Well, regardless, I'm not exactly going to solve it this very moment, so... We'll have to save that for another time. Now the question is, do I buy crap tons of Stygian Ivory? I kind of want to, but that would be stupid. The reason I kind of want to is because I actually need Stygian Ivory for one of my officer's quests. Um, I need 7 Stygian Ivory and 12 Devilbone Dice. And then I have to deliver that to the Iron Republic to get a weapon. But the problem is, 12 Devilbone Dice plus 7 Stygian Ivory... Obviously, equals 19 things, which leaves me very little room for fuel and supplies. And I'd have to go all the way from here, and then all the way to Mount Palmerston for the Devil Bone Dice, and then all the way to the Iron Republic. Um, it really is something best done with a bigger ship. I could do it, I could do it, but I have to resupply constantly along the way. And I've already got some other stuff in my hold. Not that much stuff, but a little bit. I've got romantic literature. You know, a couple... Items as well, and hydrogen nets. Yeah, I should probably wait for a bigger ship. So, let's go. Alright, now it's time to head to the Empire of Hands. A quick jog in the good old boat over there. Pop on over for some, some tea. Hope I don't encounter any Cthulhu-y creatures. Not feeling in the mood for that today. Do feel in the mood for tempting fate, though. Any Cthulhu's around here? Nah, they're just watching. I really need supplies, by the way, because I just burnt up two supplies. Getting the outlandish artifacts from the scribe guy, or chronicler guy. And you really don't want to buy supplies of the Empire of Hands. That kind of blows. Alright, so let's deliver the stuff. Where do I do that? There's so many, I remember there's so many different places to do stuff here. Um, Do I have to go to the court? Hmm, well, let's get a port report. Or wait, should I? No, I think getting a port report might ruin the ability to do other stuff. At least it did before. I don't know if it still does, but I'm not going to risk it. It's not worth that much. Let's go to the Zeppelin. Let's see if that does it. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, deliver hydrogen to the Zeppelin. Alright. Another proud infernal export. With hydrogen to fill the Zeppelin... The fuel required to power it will go much further, as indeed will the Zeppelin once it has been completed. The Overseer pays you your delivery fee. Alright, my status went up by one, which is really not very much at all. I think I lost like two status or something just doing something stupid, didn't I? Like I failed a challenge? Ooh! Ooh! Drowning Pearls! Yes! I really needed Drowning Pearls. I needed, um, either five or ten Drowning Pearls for the cook at Khan's Glory. If you have ten Drowning Pearls, I think you can kind of do the better thing. Like, I think, I think if you give him five Drowning Pearls, he just goes off on his own, and if you use ten Drowning Pearls, I think you follow him. So obviously being able to follow him would be better for gathering information and stuff. So I'd prefer ten Drowning Pearls, but five will at least allow me to do the thing and continue that officer's quest. Which is excellent. 
20 times the Zeppelin's fuel. Okay, so I need to deliver that four more times to actually fuel it up all the way, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm probably going to keep getting paid in drowning pearls, so if I do that one more time, I should have plenty of drowning pearls to do the whole cook thing. Excellent. Of course, it's pretty lengthy to go all the way from the Iron Republic to here, so that's going to have to wait a bit. But still, good to know that I have a reliable source of pearls. Okay, let's do some other stuff. Let's go to... Uh, Erm. Which place is which? Lost Treasure Hunter. That's the place where I need the Searing Enigma to get the treasure map, right? Yes. Or, wait a minute, is, this, is it just to talk to him? I think this is just to talk to him. That's not going to do anything, is it? Yeah, that's just to talk to him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can get his treasure map if I have one Searing Enigma, but I don't, so I can't really do anything unless I wanted to join him on a raid on the Empire of Hands, which I do not. So that's not happening. What about Fountainhead Island? What was this about? Oh, this is a place I need to actually use the map if I actually had it in the first place, which I don't. So yeah, that means the only thing we can do is go to the court and see if there's any... Oh, hi! How's it going? See if there's anything I can do to gain more favor. Okay, so the Delightful Adventurous is still here. Good. Nope, I still don't want to throw a tomato at her face. Well, I kind of do, but... I'm gonna just... Let's not do that. Let's not prod her any further. I don't believe I have anything to trade. Nope. Oh, looks like you can actually keep getting pots of violent ink for red honey if I wanted to. I don't, though. Don't know of anywhere to sell that stuff. I've already used it to get the captivating treasure from the first curator. I don't want to sell my soul. Uh, what's going on here? Mm, nope. This is something. Yeah, this is what I need more status to do. Can arrange for supplies for the Zeppelin, just as I did for the fuel. So that's why I want 35 status instead of the 29 that I have. I think this is the thing that can maybe increase my standing. What did I do? Wait, what did I do? Your wanderings bring you to the cramped laboratory of the Imperial Alchemist. Wreathed in the smells of honey, wax, and lacquer. Experiments in souls. He dips them one at a time in a bowl of lacquer. Neath snow. They fizzle in the frozen sorrow. Something beyond a scream cutting the air. No good, mutters the alchemist, discarding what remains. No good at all. He kicks the rest of the crate. Worthless. All worthless. Well, if he has no need for them... Thank you for the souls! Let's trade them. Here you go. I've... What, what the fuck? Okay, I just lost seven status. Well, that's great. Wonderful. Wholesale souls, do you take them for savages? Devils? Your pitiful charity is utterly rejected with a slam of clenched paw. A slam of clenched paw on table. Outside these walls, yes, their brethren may thirst for any random soul. Inside, however, only the finest alchemy will suffice. Refined, distilled, perfected. How dare you think of anything else? No, take your tuppence of soul rejects and be gone. Well, fuck. It's gonna be a long time till I have enough status now. Unless I sell my soul... I really am curious what would happen if I sold my soul. It sounds horrible. I'm not gonna do it. That's too scary. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. Suppose I should have an audience with the mayor and, uh... 
Can I sell the souls? Do you want the create? You don't. You don't want the creative souls. Okay. Let's get a port report. Goodbye. I didn't think they were that picky about their souls. Okay. Let's go over to the Isle of Cats. Yeah, let's get some red honey to trade. I'm going to go over the Isle of Cats to do that. And then to Wisdom to get the rescue the dude from prison to continue that officer's quest. Which is going to be damn expensive. And, you know, I really do need supplies, so let's actually take a stop at Mangrove College and get supplies there. Because you can just kind of get, like, five supplies for free. Just using something way too important. So, let's go do that. And then pop over to the Isle of Cats. And then, Wisdom. So I still have the Creative Human Souls, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's gather supplies. <laughs> there we go, six supplies, didn't lose a damn thing. That is so good, that is really, really good. That's 120 Echo worth of supplies. Assuming you bought the supplies in London. Let's get a port report. Oh, that gave me another supply. Do I want to pick up another passenger? They take up a hold space. They give you a little bit of echo. I wish I knew where they wanted to go, because it's randomized. I feel like doing this could potentially maybe unlock some sort of a quest event. Like, maybe the passenger that you pick up is somebody special. Especially because of this. You notice it says you basically... You can only pick up one passenger at a time. That's why it says no more than zero times. And I think I've done this twice before, and they've always been a shady character. Or a shady sort. They've always been this person, but then there's this, the checkered character. And that might be the special one. There's probably a random chance to get that anytime you do this. So let's do it. Oh! Hello? The principles. Port Cecil. Black and white and silver. Please, take me there. Sooner, later. It doesn't matter. I know how complex the moves can be. Okay. That might lead to something interesting. Or perhaps I've had a checkered character before and I just don't remember. Who knows? How much are you worth? You can't be sold? Damn it. Hmm. I could head up to Port Cecil after I'm done with all of this and go to Khan's Glory to do the Cook's Quest. I wouldn't be able to do the best version of the Cook's Quest, though, because I don't have ten Drowning Pearls. I only have seven. So I wouldn't be able to follow him. I could only give him uh, the pearls that he needs to do whatever he wants to do. And he was being very evasive. He obviously did not want me to follow him, and whatever he's doing is obviously really shady. So I'd prefer to be able to follow him. But it would work out really well if I went to the Isle of Cats, and then Wisdom, and then straight up to Khan's Heart, did the Cook's Quest, straight up to Port Cecil, dumped off the guy. Like, that would work really, really well. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might do it anyway. And just not have the ten Drowning Pearls? It can't be that big of a deal. I mean, it's not like it's going to kill the questline. 
Probably just means I miss out on, I don't know, a searing enigma or something. Anyway, let's head on over to the Isle of Cats, get some red honey. Now that I know that you can sell it at the Brass Embassy back at London, I want more. It's gonna be my moneymaker. How much money do I have, by the way? 4,700. Okay. I want 3,000 to be able to do the wisdom thing, because I think that's the full price of paying for that guy's release. 3,000. I wouldn't mind getting more red honey, though. I mean, my profit margin on each one is... basically 400 echo, and technically 399, since you pay 600 for the red honey and you get back 999. So, I mean, getting two red honeys isn't bad. That's 800 echo profit. Yeah, and I still have to stick with two, because if I buy more than two red honeys, then I won't be able to pay for the full price of the guy's release from Wisdom. So, let's do that. Anyway, I don't want to go crazy with it, just in case the Brass Embassy at some point decides they don't want to buy it anymore. I don't want to be screwed. Burning blue. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I have no Z stories. Alright, calm down, calm down. You're fine. Gain a fragment. Let's get a port report. Twenty-two percent chance of being able to sell sunlight. I don't remember what a walk in the Rose Gardens does. I can't remember, but let's not do that, because I do need the something awaits me in port to buy the shipment. And this would use it up. Alright, got more suspicion, unfortunately. Let's get one more. So I'm just going to hang out here and wait for my something awaits me in port to come back. Kind of a lame thing to do, it's not very exciting, and I don't know, I don't feel like you're actually really supposed to just wait here and spin in a circle. But it's not as if I'm exactly drowning in money here, so... I feel like doing this to get a bit more money is not really a bad thing. Hmm, <laughs> Think of all the Cthulhu's watching me right now. Oh look, there's one right there! Oh, it, it went away. Okay, pretty good chance they're actually going to search the ship now, but I have enough Admiralty's favor that it shouldn't be a problem. If I remember right, I have enough favor to buy them off four times. Yeah, it leaves me with plenty of money to get the guy out of Wisdom, so let's go do that. Yeah, wisdom's just right up there. Hi! Particularly tormented bound shark. Um, you know what? Screw it. I should be able to take you. Alright, that'll slow it down. It's probably gonna go underwater. Oh wow, that- whoa. It's circling me. Examine its cage armature. Let's actually do that. 66% chance is not bad. I am curious, how the hell did it get bound in the first place? I mean, think about it. How do you... You'd have to capture the shark and then bind it. Like, that's a pretty complicated affair. 
Whoa. Okay, that did a bunch of stuff. Someone has bound it savagely with black iron. Sunk bands and joined mechanisms deep into its flesh. Digging deeper. The cage has begun to distort its shape. More than seems reasonable. But then, a shark has no bones. Rods of iron inserted deep into its flesh have done impossible things. There are organs in there none of you recognize. Its suffering must have been extraordinary. You take a tooth as a trophy. If your hole is damaged, your engineer will repurpose some of its cage as repair materials. Oh. Repair two hole? A little bit of terror gained. One trophy. Some fragments. God, what a sad creature. It's had rods f inserted into its flesh. And it's all bound. I mean, who the hell captured it? And why? Why would they do that? It's a sick thing to do. Okay, here we go. I'm about to become very, very poor. Let's get a port report first. Alright, so what's my chance of rescuing a prisoner? Thirteen percent. Hmm. And it looks like if I fail it, I lose four crew. That ain't good. But I could spare four crew without much of a problem. But what if I fail? I mean, I know if I fail, I'm probably going to lose four crew. But, I mean, if I fail, are they going to want to ransom? Like, is the price going to go up? Because I know if somebody tried to break them out, then I wouldn't be like, Oh yeah, you can just pay the normal price. I'd be like... Assuming I didn't just kill them or put them in prison. I would want more of a fee. You know, kind of a... Restocking fee, if you will, for the prisoner. So, I'm worried if I fail, it like, really bad stuff is gonna happen. And the chance of failing is extremely high. It's 87%. 87% chance of failure. But then again, the chance of this is also very, very low. I think somebody, uh, the thing is though, I think somebody said that if you fail this, you just pay the full price, and I think if you succeed, you just, like, I guess, haggle a better price. Hmm. Alright, hold on. I do have as much hearts as possible, right? Yeah, monkey foundlings give me hearts plus five. Is there anybody else I can swap in that has more hearts? Hearts plus six. You're the surgeon. Hearts plus six, so that wouldn't do anything. Mirrors. Veils. Hearts plus four, that's the cook. Well, hearts plus six. Yeah, so I can't swap anybody out to give me more hearts. I could pay somebody to increase my hearts, but I don't really want to spend my secrets, because I don't actually have that many. I've only got six. Hmm. And my items only do mirrors and pages. Alright, I'm just going to pay the fee. It's going to hurt, but here we go. <sighs> and I failed, so I paid the full price. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. The unctuous fellow counts your echoes lovingly into a brass-bound box, which he locks with a little key, which he places in a much grander box, which he locks with a much grander key. His delight in this process so overwhelms him that he almost forgets to give you your prisoner. Oh, 
so if you actually do this without coming here for a specific person, you can just rescue some random poor soul. You broke in here at random, or as part of your own complex schemes. You've rescued some sort of rather genteel pirate, apparently. That seems like that would end really, really poorly, if I actually did that. That's pretty insane, just rescuing some random person. But let's get the sage. This is the man you came here for. Is he a man? There's something peculiar about the line of his jaw, the shape of his eyes, but he's grateful to see you. You have my gratitude. Obviously he talks in a really weird way. I have no idea how it's supposed to be read though, so I'm not going to try. Those not oracles. Phew. They would have choked on me. But it would have it would have done me little good. I would be gently digesting now, were it not for you. I see you have my friend with you. We are going to do great work, yes, my friend? Perhaps THE great work. We shall wake those forces. Do you have the pattern? I can hardly wait. Okay. Oh god, what are they going to make? Some bad stuff's brewing on board my ship. Okay, uh, where did I need to take them? I need the secret and I needed him, and this is related to the tireless mechanic. Yeah, so what was that about? I don't remember where I'm supposed to take that stuff. Um. Oh, fuck me, where is it? Ah. Uh, this is so badly sorted. Is it this? No, get casket of sapphires, blah blah blah, that's not it. Seriously, where the fuck is it? Okay, no, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I just can't find the damn thing in here. Maybe since I picked up the guy, it disappeared and the quest is complete? I don't know, I went, I went looking in the officers and he's not an officer. He's actually in my hold. And I can... use him. Whatever that means. Not talk to him, use him. Right-click to use this item. Why are you calling him an item? It's rude. Okay, sure. Yeah, so it's just, he's a person. They just filed him under use for some reason. Alright, so I just need a strange catch. Okay, well, I guess I probably need to talk to him to continue the quest, I'm guessing. Well, probably gonna have to wait till either I get that from some random thing, or when I head up to Aram so I can buy some more strange catches. So, let's head over to Khan's Glory and let's end the episode with the Cook's Quest. Let's go spend the pearls there. You ready for some boinkage? You ready for some boinkage? You better be ready, because I'm going to boink. Boink. You weren't ready, were you? You should have been ready. I can never remember if this is the right place. Is it this one or the other one? Oh, this is the place where I can trade. Oh, here we go. And yeah, that's where the the cook wants to get some shore leaf. So let's do that. Ah, I wish I had more drowning pearls. Just three more. But no, let's just do this right here. Right here, right now. 
allow him his privacy to do his shady shit. Have fun, go buy some corpses or whatever you're doing. Private business. He disappears into the canaled streets. An hour passes. Two. The dockside lamps buzz. A water taxi bobs by, carrying a silk-swathed minister and his blushing black-suited lover. Over the side of your ship, a sailor sings a music hall ballad as he chisels barnacles from her flanks. Your cook returns. Did he find what he was looking for? I believe so, he says. His voice is hollow, but determined. His hands are empty. As he boards the ship, he stops and catches your elbow. Captain, a word of advice. Do not divide yourself. Learn what matters to you. Pursue it avidly. It is kinder not to give in the first place than it is to take back what you have given. What the heck does that mean? Well, I mean, I know what it means, but like, why is he saying it right now? Is he saying he gave something and he just took it back? If so, what did he give? Hmm. Anyway, okay, he wants uh, either a colossal fluke core or an LG. Elgic? Elgic? Elegic? Elegic? There's a lot of different ways you can pronounce that. He wants an Elegic cockatoo. Okay, where do I find either of those things? An Elegic cockatoo? Is that like some m monstrous parrot? I can only imagine what a parrot would be like in the Untersee. 20 feet tall and with 2,000 eyes and tentacles and a beak like a razor blade. Okay, well, tell me more. Deliver the Colossal Fluke Core or the Elegiac Cockatoo. Or he has a request. Okay. So this is kind of just reiterating what he already told me, I guess. I need a capstone for the feast, Captain. Something unforgettable. I have a vision. No, two. One demands the core of a lorn fluke. The other requires a certain bird of the elder continent. A cockatoo, given to funereal poetry. I have heard a certain southern showman owns such a creature. He waves a casual hand. Either would do. Do not trouble yourself with both. Ah, okay, elder continent. A, a certain southern showman. That would have to be... Uh, the showman dude at Adam's Way. Yeah. It's gotta be that. Okay, well... I think I'll probably go for that one, because I have no freaking clue where to get the other one. Because he sure didn't say. Yeah, a colossal fluke core. Perhaps that's a creature that I need to kill? He doesn't say, right? Just the core of a Lorne fluke. Yeah, he doesn't say. It's most likely an enemy. That's, that's what I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing the fluke core is probably an enemy you have to kill, and the other one is something you have to kind of talk to get. You have to talk to the showman. So it's probably either you can choose to go the combat direction, or the talk it out and maybe pay somebody direction. That's the feeling that I get. Alright, let's enter the Nefridi Quarter. See what's for sale. You don't have strange catches, do you? No. Do I need fuel or supplies? Let's see, well, let's see. After this, I'm gonna head up to Port Cecil. And then I'm going back to London, right? I mean, heck, you know what? There's really no driving reason why I need to go back to London, right? I mean, it's not like my hold is filled up with crap. It's got a bunch of kind of small stuff, but 
It's only small stuff. Stuff, not that big of a deal. Which means... I might as well actually not actually go back to London yet, because while I'm in the area, what I think I should do is probably go to Aestabel to see if that is the Beach of History or whatever it's called. And, you know, even if that doesn't work out, I can at least get a bunch of supplies. And then also go up to Aram to get the Strange Catch, to talk to the Unsettling Sage to continue that officer's quest. And, <laughs> you know what? While I'm there, I also happen to have gotten the Strategic Information which I can then use at the Avid Horizon to continue the Sigil Ridden Navigator's quest. So, yeah, I'm actually not going back to London. There's actually a bunch of stuff to do here. At Aestavel, Aram, and the Avid Horizon. Which means... I do want to buy stuff. Not supplies, though, because I'm going to get a bunch of supplies from Aestavel. So let's just get fuel. Pretty reasonable price. How much do I need? Like, 15... Let's get a couple more, just to be certain. Yeah, it should be fine. Do I want the sack of Dark Drop coffee beans? Because I know I can use that at Aram to get rid of a bunch of terror and stuff. Have my, uh, my little vision quest, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, you know what I can also do? I can fill up the empty mirror catch box at Aestavel. Which is another illegal thing that I think I might be able to sell back at London. Ooh, and since I've already got illegal stuff in the form of the red honey, I might as well get even more illegal. Oh, shit, I just realized I don't have much money to play with. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, this is actually really working out. So I'm going to get a mirror catch box. I'll fill it up with some sunlight at Aestavel, just for the heck of it. Let's get a sack. I've got very little money, but it's perfectly fine. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that went pretty damn well, and I'm really excited to come back for the uh, next episode, because what I'm going to be doing then is uh, Ace Devel, see if that's the shore of the histories, whatever, for that thing, and gather some supplies, and gather some illegal sunlight, which I'm going to sell back in London, go to Aram to get the strange catch, and use that to talk to the dude and continue that quest, and also use my sack of Dark Drop coffee beans to lose some tear and whatnot. Go to the Avid Horizon, continue the other officer's quest using the strategic information. Dump off the dude at Port Cecil. It's going to be a pretty action-packed episode. Yeah. Alright. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.